everyone welcome back to my channel so I'm actually filming the intro to this video at my spa as you can tell my lovely background this is actually wallpaper my boyfriend my lovely lovely boyfriend put this on my wall for me so shout out to my man so today i'm going to be taking you guys with me to go meal prep for the week i decided to make this video for you guys so you can see what helped me lose 10 pounds in one month i'm aware that everybody's body is very different and everybody's health is very different i'm just letting you guys know what has worked for me you do what works best for you I know a lot of the times people struggle with losing weight and it could be more than just a diet so I definitely recommend to go get checked or to go get some kind of physical checkup from the doctor to make sure that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing and feeding your body well. So I will be taking you guys with me today to show you guys what I eat and where I shop for what I eat and how I put my meal prep together. I will also be showing you guys how you can calculate how much you should be eating because that has a lot to do with losing weight or gaining weight. When I first started the diet, I was not as strict. I would have like a cookie here and there or maybe some chips. Even if it's a couple of cookies and a couple of chips, it still throws off your diet. So I know for a fact that had a lot to do with me not being able to lose weight the first few times that I attempted this diet. But after I decided to take it serious, I noticed a huge change and that's how I was able to drop 10 pounds in one month. So let's get right into it. We are about to head to the grocery store. I was going to run to Walmart, but since I'm in a bit of a time crunch and Tom Thumb is literally right behind our apartment, we're going to go there. But everything that I'm getting today, you can easily get at your local grocery store or whichever grocery store you like to shop at. So, you guys will be coming with me today and helping me meal prep. <music> Power Crunch right here are really good. They have a lot of protein, not a lot of sugar, and I think they're really good on carbs. I haven't tried the red velvet, so I'm gonna take one. They have salted caramel, lemon, peanut butter. So I got peanut butter and red velvet. I also got Pumpkin spice pancakes for my cheat day. Ooh, strawberries and cream. Bananas and cream. Oh, this is tough. So I've never actually seen these flavors before, but Premier Protein is the protein shake that I drink in the mornings whenever I'm meal prepping. I'm debating on just trying both. Doesn't hurt to try. So that was a really quick trip but I'm glad I came because I found my favorite shakes and my favorite protein bars in different flavors. Now we're going to head home and get started with everything. A lot of the stuff that I need I actually already have at home. I will still show you guys everything that you need. Once again you can get all of this stuff from your local grocery stores. I found everything right here at Tom Thumb so. I know for sure that you'll be able to wherever you choose to go to. See you guys back at the house. So first, you'll want to download the MyFitnessPal app. And don't worry, it is completely free. So after you've done that, they'll ask you a few personal questions about yourself. I already have my information in there. Except I do have to be honest, I weighed myself this morning and I did gain one pound. So 
Now they'll give you a number of calories that you should be consuming in order to get to your goal weight, as well as other nutritious facts about what you're eating. Um, I really like that they have um, recipes. I love the recipes that they give you on this app and as well as other um, workout videos that they have there for you. And then this just shows um, your other parts of your diary that let you know how many days in a row you logged in, how much total weight you have lost thus far. By the way, I did notice that anybody who follows me on this app because people can actually follow you on the app they are able to see all of this so just a fair warning i'm pretty sure you, you can edit it in the um, settings app or in the settings and then this section here is your journal so you're able to log in your breakfast lunch dinner snacks and water as well So now let's get into the stuff that we have. We have our seasoned chicken, avocado, and our jasmine white rice. And I only got one pound because I have some chicken that I actually made the other day already, so I'm just gonna cut that up. And then here we have our crunch bars that we got, our shakes, and some Celsius. So now I'm going to plug up our rice cooker so we can cook the rice before I start on the chicken, so that way that is taken care of. And we're going to make two cups of white rice. Do keep in mind that if you need to make more according to how much you need to eat, then you can do that as well. This is just how much I usually make for the week. And now here I am draining out the starch that comes with the rice. So I put in a little bit of water and now we are taking out the starch. And then I will put water back in there and we'll be doing four cups of water to make the rice. <music> Now this part is super easy. All you have to do is turn it on and then you're going to hit the white rice button and it'll instantly start cooking for you. So now we can get started with the chicken. I have my chicken here that's already cooked. So we're just going to cut that up and then we will open up the chicken that we have here and start cooking that while we are cutting up the chicken. So we are multitasking a lot tonight. <music> So now let's plug in our chicken and rice. So open up your MyFitnessPal app, close out of any ads, and we are going to put it in our food section and in the dinner section. And the way this works is you'll find a barcode if your food happens to have barcode on it. Um, in this case, it did not recognize it, so it'll give you the option to type in the information um, so the brand name is not chicken breast. The brand name would be Tom Thumb and then the description would be chicken breast and then you would put the serving size and the servings per container. Now that we have put in our information, we will go to the next page. So we don't have any of this information on the chicken and that is okay. For the most part, anytime this side pops up, I just give up and I attempt to type in the description in the search engine. 
Now we are going to head back to the original search page right here. And I'm just going to type in Tom Thumb breast or chicken breast, skinless, boneless, whatever it is that it said on there. So we're going to type that in and hope that it pops up for us. Well, look at there. So it did end up popping up for us the exact description. So we are going to click on that. So it's telling us that four ounces equals 130 calories. I will be completely honest with you guys. My boyfriend is the one that's great with numbers. So he's usually the one that calculates all of this stuff for me. So bear with me, guys. Now I'm going to see how many grams are in an ounce since grams is what our scale uses to measure. So it comes out to 28 grams and we have 4 ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and times that by 4 and we end up getting 112 grams total. So that's how many grams of chicken I'll be putting into each of my meal prep containers. So here we have our lovely scale. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'll place the container on there and I'll clear it off again so that way we can start at zero. <laughs> is ready so now we can put it into our app so you'll open up the my fitness pal app again and we are going to try the barcode this time so that worked out perfectly and this is actually a little bit easier because it has the 45 grams so if i want to stick to 150 calories per container for of rice then i'll put in 45 grams of rice in each container but I did have a little bit of more calories to spare, so I'm going to do 20 over that. And I am personally not that much of a perfectionist, so I'm okay with going over or under a little bit with my grams. I just have to make sure to update my journal whenever I do that. So there you have it. Our meal prep is looking delicious and ready to go. And I almost forgot to mention that I take an avocado for veggies instead of cooking them and adding a whole other thing to our list. And also, this is one of my favorite snacks to eat at night whenever I am feeling a little hungry. I just get a little bit of yogurt and I add some blueberry jam to it just to give it a little bit of flavor and it's honestly really good. I hate the plain yogurt by itself, but my boyfriend taught me this trick just to add a little bit of blueberry jam and it gives it some really good flavor. And another quick tip for you guys, if you clean as you go, you will not have that many dishes to clean at the end. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If there is anything else that you would like to see from me, let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. I love making these videos for you. I have so many more in store, so stay tuned. And another thing, if you guys can get at least one of my videos to 1,000 likes, I will do a Flores Med Spa giveaway. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You just have to get one of my videos, just one, to 1,000 likes, and I will do a Flores Med Spa giveaway. I appreciate you all for watching, and I will see you next time.